19 September 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhattara Madhupan Sweet children, only by making effort to have remembrance will you become karmatit. Therefore, never consider yourselves to be too clever. Content to remove the weaknesses from within yourselves by the power of remembrance. Question. What challenge does the father give all of your children in order to make your stage strong? Answer. Children, while cooking, show that you stay in yoga the whole time. This is the challenge that the father gives your children. If you cook food in remembrance of Shababa, it becomes filled with power and your stage becomes very good. However, some children forget. For this, make effort to remind one another to stay in remembrance. Do double service. Together with serving with your actions, also do the service of changing others from ordinary humans into Narayan. Song Have patience, O mind. Your days of happiness are about to come. Om Shanti Who said this and to whom? The father sits here and explains to your children this is remembered on the path of devotion. When the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes, he comes alone and gives you patience. No other human beings can give you patience. You know that your days of happiness are now to come. The father has come to take you to a land of happiness. This is a land of sorrow. All of the songs belong to the path of devotion. The father is personally sitting here in front of you. Your children don't need to say anything. Your children know that your days of happiness are now coming. We are establishing a kingdom of happiness for ourselves by following Srimad. We are following divine directions. One kind is divine directions and the other kind is undivine directions. Only one kind is divine and that is called Srimad. Undivine directions means devilish, impure directions. Divine directions means deity, like and pure directions. You understand about Srimad and devilish directions. Those who are pure are said to be divine and those who are impure are said to be undivine. This is an impure world. There are no other human beings here. There is only the one purified father who gives you pure directions. Everyone remembers him. The golden age is called a pure world and the iron age is called an impure world. Here all are undivine. There is only the one divine father. There are no divine fathers in the impure world. This is the conference age. This age is only for you, not for the world. The world thinks that there are still many years before the conference age comes. The father comes to make this impure iron age into a pure golden age. In fact, even Kumars and Kumaris are divine and pure. But they definitely have to become impure. They take birth through vice, and this is why there is no one divine in this impure world. Those who are viceless are said to be divine. Viceless ones exist in the viceless world. That is the viceless, completely viceless world. Since there is the completely viceless world, there would also be a completely vicious world. Thus is a completely undivine world. The golden age is called the completely divine world. The divine father has now given you patience. It is said divine living soul means embodied soul. A soul by himself cannot be called divine. Souls reside in the incorporeal world. Divine people exist in a pure world. This is an impure world. It is the task of the incorporeal divine father alone to make the impure world pure. Your children are being given patience. Children, the golden age is now coming. It takes time for the land of happiness to be established. It isn't that the land of sorrow will be destroyed. 
and the land of happiness established instantly. Look how much time it has taken you to. The impure world is so big. You also have to become worthy. You yourself say that you have not yet become completely worthy of going to heaven. When you become completely worthy, you will reach your karmatid stage. However, because many have body consciousness in them, they think that they have become perfect and that they don't need Srimad. That is why they don't stay in remembrance. It is only by having remembrance of the Father that you will become elevated. No one can say that he remembers the Father constantly. None of you should feel internally that you constantly stay in remembrance. What else would be needed if you continue to stay in remembrance? If someone were to stay in remembrance the whole day, he would reach the karmatid stage. It is very difficult to stay in remembrance of Baba. You are making effort to claim your fortune of the kingdom and the land of happiness. Each of you has to check yourselves. If you have a lot of vices or weaknesses, you won't be able to claim such a high status. You won't be able to run a race of constant remembrance. You mustn't consider yourselves to be too clever and think that you are perfect. It is only in Shivalaya, the golden age, that you become perfect. The whole of Bharat will become Shivalaya, the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan continues. No one rules in a temple. In Shivalaya, the golden age, the deities rule. Later, they make an image of the main Lakshmi and Narayan and build a temple to them in order to worship them. Only those of the first number are worshipped. Their temple is not living. When they rule and the living form, they are the masters of the world. Although they are only in Bharat, they are the masters of the world. There is no other kingdom. We are now once again establishing our divine kingdom. In order to go to the pure world, we first of all definitely need to become pure. This takes effort. For as long as you live, you have to stay in remembrance. The reign of knowledge continues all the time. Everything is explained to you in different ways. In fact, no one except Lakshmi and Narayan can be called pure or divine. The Father establishes heaven, but even then it changes into hell. The drama itself consists of happiness and sorrow. Shankaracharya comes and establishes his own relation, but even then the twins and branches would be old. There is praise of the sannyasis. Ram Tirtha and Vivekananda have been remembered because they came after Shankaracharya. When new one comes, they show themselves men stand out. However, this cannot be called Shivalya. They are just the one golden age and that is established by Shiv. People don't know about those things at all. No one would be able to understand anything by just listening to this. First of all, you have to come here for seven days and understand the aim and objective. You are not asked to come and understand for seven days in any other study. This is the only school where you are given an aim and objective. First of all, you have to understand the father. The father says, I have come to serve you children. Those who belong to me in the previous cycle are the ones who will come here again. Until you have faithful intellects, thus will not enter your intellects. And this is why Baba asks, to what extent do you have faith? This is not a village spiritual gathering. In other spiritual gatherings, they say such and such a Mahatma is relating the Gita or so and so is relating the Vedas. There are no Mahatmas etc. here. The father sits here and explains to you what would you understand until you first had faith. In other spiritual gatherings, they would think this one is relating the Vedas and teaching the knowledge to become kings. Here, there is no question of Vedas, scriptures or knowledge for kings. 
you know that Bible is teaching you through this one until they understand this what would they do they would spoil the atmosphere even more here even among you it isn't that everyone sitting here is listening why in remembrance of shubhava but the understanding that shubhava is teaching you through brahma no hardly anyone understands accurately that it is shubhava who is teaching us the study you have to remember that it is shubhava who is teaching you if your intellect have the awareness throughout the day that you are students you can claim number 1 however it is number wise among you to bhava says remember me the one who is teaching you i alone am the father teacher and guru you have to remember all three together in what the relationships the father it separate the teacher it separate and the guru it separate here you only have to remember one and it is very easy however maya doesn't allow you to remember she repeatedly breaks your intellect yoga your children must sit with each other together when someone is using a machine or churning butter he should use that machine while in remembrance of shubhava and extracting butter for shubhava's yakya in remembrance of shubhava this is a matter of great happiness and cooking food for the yakya there is happiness however you then repeatedly forget and you have to make your own effort there have to be some of you who can inspire one another to make effort for remembrance nevertheless if you prepare food in remembrance of shubhava it will be filled with power and your stage will become very good however it doesn't happen like that there is a lot of praise of brahma bhojan but your souls first have to stay in remembrance of shubhava while preparing it there should be such a kitchen of shakti it is only when you prepare food while in remembrance that you will receive power even this doesn't enter the intellects of the shaktis because if it did they would make effort baba has a desire to prepare food with his own hands and remembrance of shubhava you have to practicing whether your remembrance is able to stay baba challenges you all of you who are in the kitchen try this He knows that some children are unable to remember him for even an hour. If those who stay in remembrance are knowledgeable, they would engage themselves in double service. Until you change thrones into flowers, you are of no use. Only those who do the service of changing an ordinary human into Narayan are worthy of a kingdom. However much you have in your fortune, you can't tend to attend that through your efforts the father tells everyone however much you do whatever you do you will receive the reward of that you have to remember your most beloved father only in having remembrance is their effort thus baba to says i try a great deal but it is not possible it requires a lot of effort by making effort you will reach your karmatic stage by the end you will then continue to have visions maya will not come while sitting here everyone will continue to see everything in a divine visions now you see everything on the television television is not divine vision you won't be able to have visions of destruction and paradise on television to the extent that someone is yogi and gyani Accordingly he would see the kingdom of paradise you will continue to see germany and london etc without a television the scenes received in divine visions are more wonderful than watching something on television when you remain engaged in the father's service with an honest heart there is pleasure your intellects also see at the end baba will offer you great hospitality to take you around on a tour and to entertain you is called hospitality 
you also have to be worthy of that by remembering the one who makes everyone worthy you can't tend to become worthy to the extent that you remember baba and can't tend to spin the discus of self realization accordingly there is benefit by remembering the seed you will also remember the tree no one except you understand these things we are accumulating so much with this remembrance and knowledge there you won't know where you received your inheritance from there you won't understand that it is the income from the confluence age you just receive the sovereignty you remain constantly happy the destination is very high you are now becoming divine the whole world is undivine you change from human beings into deities you are becoming divine it is only the one god the father who changes human beings into deities it is very easy to see the world father when you see an elderly person you would call him baba or pitaji means father when an elderly person sees another elderly person he would consider that one to be his brother when young ones see older ones they consider them to be like their father no one knows about the incorporeal father they simply say god the father they don't understand that they are souls and that he is their father the father must definitely be giving you the inheritance you now know that your father is giving you the inheritance we were repeatedly calling out and praying for this inheritance he himself is now teaching us we have now become free from praying and performing devotion this knowledge is very enjoyable baba says you say that i'm your unlimited father so why do you leave me and let your intellects go to your physical fathers however if it is not in someone's fortune thus doesn't sit in his intellect the themselves say i don't have the sovereignty of raj yoga in my fortune therefore what can baba do why are you not making your fortune none of you are forbidden to make your fortune if it is not in their fortune the leaf baba then maya the cat creates confusion in their intellects what can the father do you have to conquer maya the cat if you have remembrance of shivaba while doing your work etc there would be great benefit there can be great benefit by remembering baba for even a minute can't in the caution others and then whether they accept it or not is up to them baba gives you many wise methods acha to the sweetest be loved long lost and now found children love remembrance and cut morning from the mother the father baptara the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and cut morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point make effort to remind one another of the father remember all three together the father teacher and sadguru while preparing food and eating it you definitely have to stay in remembrance second point remain engaged in doing the father's service with an honest heart do the service of changing thrones into flowers and human beings into deities blessing may you be free from all bondages and by staying beyond gross feelings become an angel and fly explanation the land of bodies is to have cross feelings but when you have become angels how can you then come into a land of bodies angels do not set foot on the ground angels means those who fly they cannot be pulled down by gravity if they stay down below they will be hunted by the hunters if they continue to fly up above no one can do anything this is why no matter how beautiful a golden cage may be you mustn't become trapped even in that only those who are constantly free 
free from bondages can go into the flying stage slogan those who make the impossible possible and experience success are stars of success om shanti